If you have jumpers and knee patellar tendon pain and you're trying to provide relief, you need to be looking at load tolerance and biomechanics. Then the question becomes, what should be going first within a training session? Should it be load tolerance, the heavy isometrics, the heavy isotonics, or should it be biomechanical stuff? Looking at the rib cage, looking at the pelvis, the hip, the foot, trying to work on strength endurance, maybe co-contractions. And I recommend that you start with load tolerance. This is an idea by Keith Barr where tendons are basically done adapting after five to 10 minutes of activity, regardless of what the activity is. And then they have a refractory period of six hours. So take, for example, you come in the weight room, you start working on a biomechanical thing. Maybe that's an isometric lunge to build strength endurance of the muscles around the hip and the foot and maybe get a strength and length benefit of the rectus femoris. Sure, you're getting a little adaptation on the patellar tendon, but this could be making it desensitized to the heavy low tolerance stuff you want to do later on. So what I recommend is do the heavy load tolerance when you just enter the weight room, you're fresh, you haven't done anything, your patellar tendon is the most sensitive to adapting, get that stuff out the way, and then you can work on biomechanical stuff. I just did a single leg stand, I'm doing an isometric lunge, working on everything around the patellar tendon, but not specifically trying to improve the load tolerance of the patellar tendon. So I'm looking at all the bones and the muscles around the area that could be affecting why the patellar tendon is overloaded in the first place. But I recommend do load tolerance first, then do biomechanics, enjoy.